You knew that I was going to have to do this video because I was going to find something. I, I go for low-hanging fruit, so here we go. This is the assertion. The sun at her head or at her chest, Jupiter in her womb, the moon at her feet, sun at her head, and a crown of stars, a specific number of stars. Okay? Sure. That is the year 1056. The sun is at her left elbow. Mercury, Mars, etc. at her head. Jupiter, speak of. There's the moon on the lower left, five times normal size. There's Leo. Again, Venus, Mars, etc. Now more towards, and Mercury, more towards Leo. And Jupiter's near her belly. And it's the moon at her feet. The year 1293. This is 1486. This is just before America was discovered. That's the cataclysm. Saturn is also at her feet and the moon. We have Jupiter near her belly. The sun and Mars and Mercury at her shoulder. Venus is in Leo. This is 1827. Moon at her feet. Jupiter near her belly. Or wherever you want to talk about, depending on your interest in depictions. But it's actually considered part of the belly of... Anyway, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, your mom. Okay? All right. Here we go. 2017. The Sun is at her shoulder at that point. Mercury, Mars. The Moon's at her feet. Why are you involving Leo, which is a separate constellation, which is constantly above the head of Virgo? Because, because 2012 apocalyptic speeches were done by people who wanted to get in early on the act and decide 2017 is the apocalypse or something. So here we go. Revelation 12, September 23rd, 2017. Virgo, Leo, Jupiter, Moon, Sun in our skies with a couple of other stars or planets, actually, not stars. 7,000 year unique human history event. No, it's not. Revelation 12, number 1, third 2, King James Version, KJV. And there appeared a great wonder in the heavens, or whatever. Everybody's going to say this differently. A woman clothed with the sun. That means being only wearing sunlight. And the moon under her, under. And there appeared a great, excuse me, under her feet. And upon her head, a crown of twelve stars. Literally just wearing stars or daisies, okay? And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pained and to be delivered. So a woman giving birth, wearing a crown of stars or probably daisies, and a great wonder in heaven. This is speaking of something else metaphorically, but you can put all sorts of readings in here, depending on your, your bent. Why say Virgo has a crown of twelve stars from Leo? Why should it be in her crown? They are not part of Virgo or near it. When astronomy telescopes and science have shown that Virgo has 29 stars with planets, how many of them are in her head, if you want to qualify it that way? Why use only nine of the brightest stars from Leo when so many more were individually identified by those ancients? And some outlines of Leo use 10 stars. And when astronomy telescopes and science have shown that it has 13 stars, 13 of the stars have planets. So depending on how you choose to count them, that would give Virgo a crown of 13 stars this year in 2017. The sun is in Virgo every September. There is always at least one day when the sun is in proper position in Virgo every year, and the moon is just to east of Virgo, or at the feet. Because Jupiter's orbit also has a period of little less than 12 years, it's in Virgo with the moon at the feet, and the sun near her head every 11 to 12 years anyway, depending on how literal you want to take this. So this once in 7,000 years unique in human history fact for September 2017 wasn't because it happened in 1827, 1483, 1293, and 1056, and that's with extremely, very, very extremely specific way of wording this to try to make it as close to what's happening this year as possible. Astrology is the reading of the heavens for signs and was something astronomers used to say they believed was valid, mostly so people would keep helping them so that they could learn about the real nature of the universe, which should be the quest. It was not 
ever valid. Astrology has never been valid. Using this in the face of facts is bullcrap. Seriously, railing against science when it tells you not to worry about stuff is bullcrap. You'd think science would find more devils and evils out there. It finds fewer. When you walk into the forest, most bugs don't bite you. Did you know that? How many of you go out in the forest? All credit, all credit. Jefferson Community Technical College of Physics Astronomy Professor Christopher M. Graney, Louisville, Kentucky, USA. This is not a thing. However, I will give someone credit. The false profiteer that said it was going to happen soon, and yes, you're, you're looking at where the belly of Virgo is supposed to be. That's I wasn't making this inaccurate. The person who came up with this idea did so in 2012 or so. I'm going to leave a link. To, it's the only one archived uh, is below because after this doesn't happen, that person will delete their blog post. That's the earliest example anybody could find. This isn't a thing. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.